So where do we stand? I'm going to tell you where we stand, that we have 1.4 million Floridians uh, who benefited from Amendment 4. And out of those 1.4 million, there's 774,000 who have some type of outstanding financial obligations. Let's not lose sight of the fact that that still leaves five to 600,000 returning citizens who can register to vote right now today because they don't have those barriers. But right. we're not forgetting about American citizens, one of which who just died last week and her dying wish was to be able to cast a ballot before she did pass away. But unfortunately, she was unable to do so. And I know that there's so many American citizens in that 700 and 74,000 that want to experience what I experienced just a few weeks ago when I voted for the first time in over 30 years. And what that experience was goes beyond partisan politics. We're letting those legislators legislate and the, and the litigators litigate, and we're going to let the politicians do what they do to try to divide this country. But at the core of what we're doing is bringing people together from all walks of life, all political persuasions, to experience the American dream of being able to stand up in the voting booth and say that I am, I exist, and I count. You know, uh, John, what Dev is speaking to there about the sort of uh, the sort of indefatigability about of, of, the, of this effort and this movement. I mean, you know, you you, you organize, you get this 75 percent, 65, 35 outcome in a divided state is amazing. Then the legislator comes back and tries to bar these people. And, and, and I've just watched as people said, OK, whatever it takes, what what is, what does it take right now? What is this fundraising movement looking to do? Well, we're going to literally pay off some of these fees and fines and free the vote for thousands more people. And we believe this is a moral imperative to include as many as people as possible in our democracy. We believe it's a moral imperative because the people of Florida, as you so eloquently said, voted 65 to 35. Since when does Florida vote anything 65-35? It's, it's been a divided state for such a long time, and the requirement for that amendment to pass was a supermajority, 60 percent, and we exceeded that supermajority by five points. So the idea that uh, uh, that uh, the state legislature would then turn around and try to basically repeal what the people voted for is, is so unconscionable for so many Floridians and so many Americans. So we're all coming together to say, well, let's erase these fees and fines by paying them off for people who need the help. And that's what we're doing.